Um, I was raised on the Anaconda Road in the middle of Dublin Gulch, which was one of the Irish neighborhoods here in Butte. We were all the same on the hill. There was no, there was no status at all. Now my house, where I was raised, would be this one right here. The Anaconda Company bought out our house in 1974. And that, that was the same years they were buying out the neighborhoods of McQueen and East Park Street, um, East Butte, um, Meterville, all of those areas, they were buying them out. All these houses are gone, but this gives you a really good idea. The houses that were in Dublin Gulch were very small. They're what we call shotgun houses. And because it being a mining culture here in Butte, these houses here were not built to last. They were built just as a you know quick little thing. Um, they're not like the offices you see on the west side, the beautiful mansions and the you know with great foundations, etc. Um, growing up on the Anaconda Road, of course, we were the, called the shanty Irish. We weren't the rich Irish. And the rich Irish, the lace curtain Irish, as they were known in Butte, lived over on the west side. But growing up there, it was no big deal. It was no big deal. And I can't imagine kids now would probably be ashamed if they grew up in a porch, you know, were raised in a bedroom, had no heat, and, you know, the door going out to the back was, you know, in your bedroom. Your bed was right up against it. But it was no big deal. Okay, this is a photo of my dad and his two brothers. Now, all of these gut boys were raised on the Anaconda Road. This is my dad here. There was a great age difference between him and the rest of his brothers. Um, Jack had two boys. They didn't stay in Butte. They moved on. Raymond died of TB. He didn't have any kids. This is uh, John Dan Crowley. He's from uh, Glenbeg, County Cork, and my grandmother, Julia, uh, O'Sullivan was from Cuig, which is near our room in County Cork. Dan and his wife, Mary O'Shea, had eight kids in Ireland. Six of those kids came to Butte, four boys and two girls. Out of all of those eight children, the middle names were all Dan, even the girls. There was even a Dan Dan Crowley. And when I met one of the guys from County Cork here in Butte, I asked him, you know, that's really strange. Why would you name every kid the same middle name? And he said, because there's so many Crowleys in County Cork that the way to distinguish which family they belong to is you give them the, name, middle, or the first name as the middle name of the father of the, of the kids. Okay. So they all ended up Mary Dan, Dan Dan, Katie Dan, John Dan, and it just went all the way through it. It's pretty interesting. Now, I knew they were all native speakers, even my grandmother. Um, and my dad did say that my grandfather would um, tell him Irish stories in Irish language, bedtime stories, but my dad never learned to speak. They never really, other than that, they never apparently really spoke Irish to any of the kids. So none of the brothers learned how to speak Irish. Um, and of course, when the parents were upset or whatever, they wanted to talk about things they didn't want the kids to know, they spoke to each other in Irish. Um, no, I'm taking Irish language classes, so we'll see what happens. Wow. It is a hard language to learn, and my dad did tell me that. Wow. It's a very hard language to learn. That. Yeah, yeah.